communication channels in this video you will understand how communication channels affect communication and recognize different communication directions within organization the channel or medium used to communicate a message affects how if accurately the message will be received verbal written or non verbal communications have different strengths and weaknesses both verbal and written forms offer their strengths and weaknesses prompting managers to make strategic decisions communication channels refers to the various methods or mediums through which information is exchanged between individuals or groups channels can be categorized into verbal written and non verbal forms verbal communication this involves the use of spoken words to convey messages verbal communication can occur face to face over the phone through video calls or in meetings it allows for immediate feedback and clarification making it effective for quick exchanges and or decisions however verbal communication may lack performance and can be prone to misunderstanding if not delivered clearly written communication written communication involves the use of written or typed word to convey information this can include emails letters memes reports and other written documents written communication provide a permanent record of information allowing for detailed explanation and documentation it allows it also allows individuals to carefully craft their messages and convey complex information however written communication lacks the immediacy of verbal communication and may not allow for real time interactions or non verbal communication non verbal communication includes facial expressions gestures body language tone of voice and other forms of expressions that convey meaning without the use of words non verbal cues can complement verbal and written communication providing additional context and emotional cues however they can also be ambiguous and open to interpretation leading to misunderstanding if not interpreted correctly so choosing the appropriate communication channel depend on various factors including the nature of the message the preferences of the audience the desired level of interactions and the context of the communication so effective communicators understand the strengths and weaknesses of each channels and select the most suitable one to ensure clear and effective communication information richness communication channels differ in their information richness with some conveying uh, more non verbal cues than others verbal communication tends to be richer in information compared to written communication as it incorporates a tone of voice facial expressions and other non verbal signals studies have found that successful managers often uh, utilize communication channels that are higher in information richness as these channels uh, facilitate uh, clearer and more effective exchanges through this uh, table you can understand that uh, the face to face video conferencing and telephone conversation has a high information richness because receiver and sender can see or hear beyond just the words they can see the sender's body language or hear the tone of their voice handheld devices blogs and return letters and memes offer medium reach reach channels because uh, they convey words and pictures photos formal return documents uh, such as legal documents and uh, spreadsheets such as the uh, division budget convey the least uh, richness because the format is often rigid and uh, standardized when to use return versus verbal communication use return communication when conveying facts when the message needs to become part of a permanent file when there is little time urgency when you do not need immediate feedback when the idea are complicated use verbal communication when conveying emotion and feelings when the message does not need to be permanent when there is time urgency when you need immediate feedback and when the ideas are simple or can be made simple with explanations business email do's and don'ts don't send or forward chain emails 
don't put anything in an email that you don't want the world to see don't write a message in capital letters this is the equivalent uh, of shouting don't routinely cc everyone all the time reducing inbox uh, clutter is a great way to increase communication don't hit send until you spell check your email do use a subject line that summarizes your message adjusting it as the message changes over time do make your request in the first line of your email do end your email with a brief sign off such as thank you followed by your name and contact information do think of a work email as a binding communication do let others know if you have received an email in external communication external communication are essential for conveying specific business messages to individuals outside an organization these messages may cover a range of topics including announcements regarding changes in staff strategic shifts financial performance and other relevant updates the primary objective of external communication is to craft messages that resonate with the intended recipient encouraging uh, understanding and potentially uh, stimulating them to share the information with others examples of uh, external communication includes press releases official statements issued to media outlets to announce significant developments or news related to the organization such as product launches partnerships or corporate events are come under press releases investor relations communication information dis- disseminated to stakeholders investors and financial analyst regarding financial performance corporate governance and other uh, matters relevant uh, to investment decisions customer newsletters regularly distributed newsletters aimed at providing customers with updates promotions product announcements and other relevant informations to maintain engagement and uh, foster loyalty social media post messages shared on various social media platforms to engage with customers prospects uh, and the general public often promoting products sharing company news or addressing customer inquiries and feedbacks more examples of external communication includes a public announcement official statements made through various channels such as company websites public notice or community forums to communicate important information to stakeholders including changes in operations policies or community involvement uh, initiatives corporate blogs return content published on company blogs to share insights thought leadership uh, industry trends and updates with uh, customers partners and other external audience sponsorship and partnership announcement communications highlighting collaboration sponsorships or partnerships with other organizations aimed at enhancing brand visibility credibility or market reach so these are some examples of external communication extra effective external communication are uh, critical for managing the organizational uh, reputation building trust with stakeholders and achieving strategy objective in the in marketplace customer communications customer communications encompasses various channels including letters catalogs direct emails emails text messages and telemarketing messages some receivers automatically filter bulk messages like this the key to a successful external communication to customer is to convey a business message in a personally compelling way dramatic news a money saving coupon and so forth key take away from this learning is a uh, different communication channels vary in their uh, effectiveness for transmitting different types of information some channels are rich in information while others are more limited in their capacity Additionally communication within organizations can flow in various directions both vertically and horizontally external communication channels encompasses a variety of mediums including PR press releases advertising 
web pages and customer communications thanks for watching do like share and subscribe